You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. And I just said the difference between purple and pink is grip. Oh, hello and welcome to Chewing the Cud. How are you doing, Lee? Purple head. I thought it mushed in your lips quite aggressive. <laughs> 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 get hungry. <laughs> purple head. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope you've got something fun for us in the showbiz. I do. I've got some. I've got. Uh, coincidentally, I've got some information about Cock, which oh. is a play. Oh. It's coming to the West End. Oh, I do like something that went to the mm, West End. Yeah. Yes. But if you want to get in contact with us, you can. It's at the Could TV on social media, where you can also follow us. The Could.tv for our website and on YouTube or podcast services. Have a look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as people who have shared or liked one of our posts, your names scroll along the bottom of the screen, we go over to Mike and the Buzz. Banking's always fun, isn't it? Mm. I said banking. Mm. One, of the, one of the most exciting things. Yeah. You know when you're transferring money to people? <laughs> no. So you go out for a meal, you don't set, like send your half of the bill to the person who paid? Ideal in cash. Actual physical <laughs> cash. Pennies. <laughs> Farthings. <laughs> Pound shillings and pence. Get, get my little Not plastic bag out. Not civilization business. Count it out. The exact amount. And then I walk. <laughs> <laughs> Saunter. Saunter off. Yes. Okay, so for those of us that, that do banking, yeah, you can put little references on payments. Like, who's it going to? So, no, but you put a reference on it. So if you, like, pay your gas bill, you mm -hmm. put, like, your gas account number on it. So they know it's for you. <laughs> yeah? Um, well, a man has been told off by his bank. I see. For putting different things in the transfer and reference. Rude things. Not necessarily rude things. Just things that are slightly alarming. Massive dillies. Yeah, well, well, this gentleman has got an email from his bank. Right, saying he need to calm down. Because he was putting things like... Taliban. Oh. And Al Qaeda. Oh, okay. Was he trying to be funny? He, yeah, it was just to do it to his mates. It's not funny though, is it? No, because the banks actually have to look into those transactions by law, um, bad terrorism and things. So. To be fair, you, you you're a bit of a shit terrorist if you actually write <laughs> Taliban <laughs> on your <laughs> on your bank transfer. Al Qaeda subscription list. <laughs> <laughs> Send the text. <laughs> that kind of thing. It's not really needing, but I can yeah. see how because it's not funny. It's not. Funny. I could have. It's like when people go to the to the airport and, and they go, "Oh, you pack your bag yourself," and they go, "No, I put bomb in it," and they're like, "Oh, that's funny." Ha <laughs> ha. Security. Yeah. Yeah. It's not funny. It's not. It's not big. It's not clever. No. I mean, I've only done it seven times. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, you're not going anywhere. I know. You're I just going turn to the turn up and go, I've not packed my bag myself, there's a bomb in it. Hey! <laughs> there's a the same with bag shopping. full of shopping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, one minute, let me get my Frere Rocher out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would personally, if I got that, and I might start doing this, put not jihad fee <laughs> and not an ISIS payment. You, you see, I see are you. <sighs> That's it. That's it. Oh, okay. That's it, really. I, I tend to put services rendered mm. in there. Penal I... enlargement. I'm paying £10 for penal. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> that kind of thing. It's very cheap surgery. Yeah. With a bread knife. Installments. Yeah. Installments? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Right, randomly. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so we'll move on from banking into something still financial. Now, you don't have a side hustle, do you, Lee? No. No. You know what a side hustle is? It is it is, a, it is a, a separate form of income uh -huh. from your main form of income. It is a second job, if mm. you will. Yes. Um, well, this is one lady who's managing to make £10,000 a month. That's a lot of moolah. That's £120,000 a year. My goodness, doing what? Selling some of the things that she excretes. Guess what that is? Shit. No. Oh, surprisingly. Okay. <laughs> More where, where my mind went straight <laughs> to. Yeah, straight to the bottom. Oh. Um, well, it's, no, she's selling her breast milk to bodybuilders. And she's referring to it as liquid gold. Okay. Yes. One is assuming that she's had a child. She has had a, a child. Okay. Um, so after having her first child, right, she found out she could sell her breast milk to bodybuilders. Yeah. What do they do with it? 
Well, obviously they drink. <laughs> what they do? They rub it on their glutes. I don't know what they. Do. I mean, what what benefit does it have to bodybuilders? Because you don't see very muscly babies, do you? Well, it's, it's designed because it's lots of fats and things in there that helps okay. the babies put on weight. Well, I've never seen a baby with a six pack. What have you ever seen a baby lift a dumbbell, barbell, lifting weight things? No. <laughs> rowing machine. A rowing machine. No, I have not seen that. No, that, so the breast milk is filled with lots and lots of calories and things. Yeah. So um, a cup of breast milk contains about 170 calories, 10 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein and lots of vitamins and minerals. So it helps them bulk up quicker. Does a does a does a baby not need it anymore? Well, they, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, they still need to feed the baby. Okay, she she's like a cow. She's an unending stream of milk. Because you only produce as much as your child needs. You're not yeah. like this never ending stream of tit milk. It's like <laughs> never ending stream of tit milk. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's that a movie. The never ending tit milk. Ah. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, if you've got it and you've yeah. got an excess of it, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not flog it? Yeah. Do they, do they bob around to a house or does she put it in the post? <laughs> it's just, no, she just goes to the gym and squirts out the like <laughs> high power. Whoever pose. can gulp the most yeah. is, is the biggest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just, a... I'm just going to a very different place in my head with bodybuilders suckling in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. You can't do it for a long time because your tits will get sore. One would imagine. Constantly think, milking I think, them. I don't think the bodybuilders are going to. No, I know that. Oh, she She's not cradling a huge bodybuilder. <laughs> Are they knuckle, knuckle? Oh, you've gone. You've gone, haven't you? Oh. Um. Sorry, I don't know where I went there. She'll have the pumps, I would imagine. Pumps, yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. But then that's not a huge amount. Why do they always go in alternate things? Why do they go, zoop, zoop, zoop? <laughs> they might do. I don't really or know. Or what if you got it at a slightly off rhythm? Mm. So it's like, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. No, it put me off. How would you pay? I mean, mm. yeah, it's I mean, good for her. Yeah, ten thousand pounds a month just for just for getting your milky tits out. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, at some point when her child is old and doesn't old, doesn't need breast milk, mm -hmm. then her her supply will will dwindle, and then she will have no oh, more oh, milk. She might be able to keep producing like wet nurses did. Okay, and one needs to have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So if you are a bodybuilder that enjoys a, a cup of breast milk, please get in touch. <laughs> Mike would like to sit on your face. Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to stay with that. Yeah. Please do get in touch. And to interact with us is at the Good TV on social media. Mm. Give us a follow and DMs. Yeah, happy. Move us on to story of the week. Okay. I know this is the story about is it, someone trying to take legal action. Oh. Okay. Um, and a vegan is trying to take legal action against a group of farmers. Okay. Now, we've tried lots of vegan food on the show before. Yeah, never any good, is it? No, that plant was tasty. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Very I've much. actually had one since. Have you? By choice. By choice. With my 20 chicken nuggets. Um, <laughs> but it, it's basically what this farming group is saying are that we shouldn't be calling it meat. So it shouldn't be called like vegan bacon. Right, we shouldn't be calling it by meat names. It should be like vegan slices or whatever, but they shouldn't have the, the meat version in there. Okay. So um, a group of vegans said, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. We're going to start finding guinea pigs because they contain no pigs. So yeah, they're looking at taking legal action to any guinea pigs being referred to as a guinea pig because it's not a pig. That's what they say. That's how ridiculous this farming group is being with the don't call it vegan bacon. What's with the purse lips? I have nothing to say. You have nothing to no. say? I have a lot of things to say. <laughs> and then say None what? of them that, that are... You no. Know. Come on. Come on. Share the thoughts. I want to. Why not? It's very making me very tired. It's made you very it's tired. Made me tired. Why does it make you tired? This world just makes me very tired. Why? You know... Guinea pigs, there's no pigs in them, so we're gonna. I don't think they're f***ing guinea pigs. <laughs> That's a very, very niche thing. I don't think vegans would be doing that. Make a lot of noise when you f*** them. <laughs> do they? Like that. Can't do it. Can't, can't, can't f*** one quietly. 
Does it put you off? I don't, you know, shh, little guinea pig. <laughs> you got a bit of character nibble on? <laughs> you put it back in a box with some ripped up straw? <laughs> Teeny tiny towel? <laughs> You practice aftercare with it. And... Do, you, do you know, in some countries, they eat guinea pigs. They do. They roast them. They, they do. Not yes. alive, not like, you know, <laughs> throw them on a <the> fire. <laughs> um, but they, well, which country do they eat the guinea pigs? Is it like South Africa? It's Mexico. Mexico, it's like. Native. Yeah. I wonder how they taste. Chickeny. Um, probably not bacony, because it contain no pig. Because there's no pig in it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, well, do you know what? If you've got... If you've got Time in your life, That's dedicate to that. Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Uh, but that's all from the buzz this week. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Can I just 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 make it quite clear? I've never f***ed a guinea pig. I've just blown one. <laughs> never f***ed one more than once. But coming up next, we have Lee and the um, Annabelle Showbiz. You're watching Chew in the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for this week's epic showbiz with Lee. Are you a fan of the West End, Mike? I do like a West End. Do you? Mm -hmm. do you I like, like to go down on the West End. Down on the West End. Mm. Well, you're, you're in luck. Oh. Right. Because we've got it. We've. It's not new. Okay. It's been. It's been reimagined. It's a revival. Remagined. A remagined. Um, <laughs> remagined. Remagined. Yes. Um, in the West End, it's Mike Bartler's provocative relationship drama. Oh. And it is starring these two gentlemen. Hubba Hubba. So we've got... Hubba <laughs> <laughs> Hubba. Hubba Hubba. From the night... Hubba Hubba, that's a fine hunk of man meat. Um, we've, we've got... We've got, <laughs> we've got Aaron Edgerton in the blue. Who? Aaron Edgerton. What? Tegan Edgerton? Taron Edgerton. Tegan Edgerton? Yeah. We've got Taron Edgerton in blue. Uh-huh. Famous for Rocket Man and The Kingsman. Yes. Those kind of films. Um, and then the gentleman who is in the open shirt. Mm -hmm. um, Play with his, himself in his pockets. Yep. Yeah, he's Jonathan Bailey. He is famous for Bridgerton. Uh-huh. And they are they are in a new... This reimagined, revitalised... Um, oh, my ear fell out. Um... um <laughs> Stage play of cock. Okay. Cock. And that's actually what it's called, cock. C-O-C-K. Um, <laughs> I can spell cock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the, Count the, down. <laughs> got four. The, got that, four. That is the, those are the other cast members. Okay. So the lady um, in the sort of maroon pantsuit, her name is Jade Anuka. And the gentleman in the far off, that's, that's Phil Daniels, who quite a lot of people will know for, like, lots of Cockney... He characters. was in the Park Life music video. He was. Blue. Yeah, he was, yeah. So, it's, it's a limited run in the West End, um, starting any, any moment now. Okay. Any moment now this afternoon, probably. Um, and it's... <laughs> so, the synopsis of the play... All of a synopsis. The Jill of a synopsis. All of a synopsis. Well, it's about two, two gay men in a couple... In a relationship. Uh -huh. They've been together for a long time. They decide to, to have a break. So they go on a break. Okay. One of them sleeps with somebody else. Okay. Which happens to be a lady. Okay. And then they get back together. And it all sort of like comes out. And then they kind of talk about it quite a lot. Yeah. Um, so. Um, There's not going to be any dick, is there? <laughs> so they end up taking a break. One of them sleeps with somebody else. And it transpires that that person is a woman. Okay. And what happens is they all have to get together and chat about it. So that sounds boring. It doesn't sound like just. So yeah. they've just used the word cock to get us interested. Yeah. And there's not a single cock inside. You know what that's called? A thirst trap. Thirst trap. Thirst trap. Mm. Only you have to pay for it. Oh. There might be just a little hint of cock. A little bit. Tiny bit. Taron Edgerton has been has been thirst trapping people on his TikTok with his. Dancing with just a towel around him. I'm okay with that. But this is nothing to do with the play. No, uh, just that's him being him. Just him. But he apparently he is tipped to be the next uh, Wolverine. I'd tip him to um, be the next Wolverine. Yeah, Ooh, Wolverine. Um, is he the one with the knives? The hand. With the knives, now is it? Yeah, is it? Yeah. If you go to sleep, he appears. No, no. that's Freddy Krueger, isn't no. it? Yeah. Ooh, Different sexy franchise. Freddy Krueger. Ooh. Um, anyway, if. <laughs> 
A sexy Freddy Krueger. Can you imagine if he was? Ooh, that's porn, I'd say. Ooh, probably is. Ooh. Very niche. Mental note. To, that's to, very niche. Note, sexy Freddy Krueger porn. I'll be looking up that later. Anyway, so if, you, if, that, if, that, if that floats your boat, pop, up, pop down. What, the play or the Freddy Krueger porn? Both. <laughs> Both. I, I go for the Freddy Krueger porn more than the play. But, you know, horses for courses. Yeah. Let's go into a bit. Of, let's go into some more news. Yeah. Um, okay. Current news. Current, current news. hip okay. band, the Spice Girls. <laughs> yes. Well, we they, are they in the hit parade? They're in the, hit, <laughs> the popular hit parade. That we were well. When I said we, I was hoping mm. that because they had the tour a couple of years ago, we've got a picture of them on tour here. Four of them minus posh. Oh, I was going to say, um, do you know why she's not there? Well, because she doesn't need to be. Because she doesn't need the money. She the rest of her eating. Well, she gets the money well, whether she's feet. there or not, because she signed some sort of deal, which means that whenever they do anything as a four-piece, she gets a cut of it. Not so stupid. But no one thought she was stupid. Oh, hey. Um, she so... married one of the, the biggest up-and-coming footballers of the time. Who is stupid? He doesn't, <laughs> sound, he doesn't sound intelligent. No. He might be clever, but he yeah. doesn't sound it. Um, so, the, the, the plans originally were that they were going to go back on tour, or do a world tour. Okay. Mel C has just been in Dancing with the Stars in America. Um, it, massive sort of uh, plans to do that. There was going to be a film, um, a cartoon film. All been cancelled now. All, all forgotten about. Don't need the money. Um, um, what they're saying is, so an insider... Who the insider is, I don't know. Um, it was going to be brilliant. Jerry Halliday. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. It was going to be brilliant. Um, it was going to be brilliant, the insider, uh, okay, Jerry said. Yeah. But COVID killed the momentum, a source has claimed. Um, there's nothing on the agenda and they're all focusing on their own things. Oh, what, what is, is Jerry releasing new music? Um, I hope not. Mel, Mel C is touring at the moment. I'm, I'm concerned about Jerry doing another Michiko Latino. I'd rather that than some of the other stuff that she's done. Um, she, oh, she did some good ones. She did. Bag it up, song about putting on condoms. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it was good. Look at me. Yeah. yeah. Scream if you want to go faster. Yeah, maybe. Bangers. Yeah. Bangers. Every single Every one of those. Every single one of the bangers. That <laughs> most people have never <laughs> heard of. <laughs> Until now. Um, so the girl, apparently this is what the, the insider said. The girls loved being back on stage and it reinvigorated their love for performing. But a few years of lockdown and everybody's back turned on the group. Uh, do you know, I don't think it's to do with this. I think it's because Mel B said that she, she finger-blasted Jerry in the early days of the Spice Girls, and they're like, no, I'm not, not doing that. I'm not, I'm not going back Go on, to Jerry's like, I'm not letting you do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jerry was not happy with that. Or that she's not doing it again, or? That, she, that, that Mel talked about their finger-banging session. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, so... <laughs> no, it literally was an insider. <laughs> oh, um, but... They're going to get back together in the summer, not as performing, but... It's naughty. Brooklyn Beckham uh -huh. is getting married in summer to his, to his fiancée, Nicole uh -huh. Peltz. Nico, Nicola Peltz. Nicole Peltz. Look at those pelts. Um, what does she pelt? I don't know. I don't know. Just down the street, away from <laughs> Jerry, when Auntie Jerry's coming round. Oh, I'm off. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Auntie Jerry and, and, and Auntie Mel. I nearly said Uncle Mel, though. <laughs> Auntie Jerry and Uncle Mel <laughs> coming round. But it's, but that's, it's fine, because Lego mm -hmm. have just released... A poison into the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> Spice Girls Lego brick headset. Okay. I've got a picture of it here. I, I, I will be... I will, <laughs> I will be why are you laughing? Look at Vicky B. <laughs> she looks like Cathy. You know when when they did when they did the comedy version of of the Sugar Lumps and it yeah. was Cathy. Well, she looks like Cathy Burke, the Cathy Burke version. Cathy Burke, Cathy Burke version of herself. There is another picture of this where um, they were sort of let's say it was a concert and there's a microphone in front of Victoria Beckham and somebody had to said the cheeky belt. <laughs> <laughs> Rub it in, why don't you? Um, I will own those. They will appear on the shelves at some point. Mm. Without, without Vicky, because, you know... So she'll be, on another, she'll be on a shelf above. But getting money as well. Yeah. Um, last little bit of news. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are all eagerly awaiting the Queer as Folk reboot. Are we? I am. Okay. Yeah. Which is, is being filmed now. Right. Um, set in America. We've talked about this on the show before. Um, but Kim Cattrall mm -hmm. of Sex and the City fame and other films and programmes, she, she's going to be in it. Okay. Um, she's not going to be playing a gay man. Um, she's going to be playing... 
Lily's favourite character. So she's been posting on her Instagram right. pictures of herself. So um, there's a picture of her outside a trailer with curlers in her hair. Mm -hmm. Why um, she got curlers in her hair? Because she's, she's going to have curly hair, I All would right. imagine, as a character. Um, she, she said, you can't take the... So because she's from Liverpool, mm -hmm. and quite a lot of women in Liverpool walk around with curlers in their hair before they go out at night, okay. she put, you, you, you can take the gill out of Liverpool, not Liverpool out of the gill. That's what she said. What was wrong with your voice then? That that was that was me doing a Kim Liverpool accent. Um, so yeah, she's good. She her character. She's going to be playing a martini soaked high society. Martini soaked. Martini soaked. Okay. What did you think I said? Martini. Martini. Martini soaked high society. Martini. <laughs> so the now you've got me questioning how to say it at all. I know. <laughs> martini. 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 That's what you say, isn't it? Martini. Martini. Can I have a martini? No, you can't. Okay. Um, with Southern Debutante with Trailer Park Roots. You know, Russell T. Davis is very excited about this. He's kind of said it's much more modern than the original, which is obvious because it's... It's now. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, much more of today's issues, trans characters, diverse characters, really, really thrilling, really, really excited. Good. So that'll be good. That'll be coming on later this year. We don't know which channel it's going to be shown, but it, it will be shown. Um, but also, Kim has posted... That it is, it is 35 years this year that her debut film or acting role in a film, Mannequin, opened at the cinemas. Okay. 35 years. It's a little bit, this is what she posed like a bit of fan art. It's, it's amazing. It's quintessentially 80s. I don't want anything quintessentially oh, 80s. It's got an amazing soundtrack. Questionable when you say homosexual representation. Is it got all that electronic synth? Ding, ding, yeah, ding, there's ding. like a makeover scene in the middle. Oh, I play. so she plays she plays an Egyptian princess who's cursed in Egyptian times, is turned into a to, to a mannequin. I don't know if they had those in those days. And then um, when it goes night, she becomes a real person. And um, the guy that so yeah, him in the middle there. Yeah, Hollywood. He's he's nowadays would be a problematic character. Oh, okay. But you know. Shan't watch it then. Please do. No, shan't. Can't make me. Yeah. Well, that's the end of the show with news. You fill us down. Thanks for that, Lee. It's always good to know that I'm a, a filling something. Stay with us because coming up next we have our game of the week. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play a game of Ooza Kazoo. But Lee, we are not going to get off our hefts. I don't have a heft. <laughs> you don't have a heft? No. You don't have a heft? I don't have a heft. What do you have then? I have a little peach. James and the Giant. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get our, our, someone else to do it for us. Nice. Yeah. Game of the Week. So this week, we're not going to be doing any blowing whatsoever. No, no sad face. Happy face, because we've got our producer Jay to do it. Oh, hooray. Hello, producer Jay. Hello, Mike. Hello, Lee. I'm here to blow very, everything. That was very monosolid bit, wasn't it? What? Hello, Lee. Hello, Mike. Well, it's hard to be enthusiastic when I've listened to your rubbish now for 20 minutes. So, you know. Got a point. Got a point, to be fair. Got a point. Um, so yeah, shall we, shall we crack on with the first one then? Does he does he know what he's doing? He sh he's watched the show enough. Okay. Sits in his corner. I sit in my corner and I watch you two blow on this. I have sanitised it thoroughly very before I put it anywhere near my mouth. So let's get <laughs> on with it. Have we done that? It is. Here we go. This is a good one. Now this is a very topical one as well. Well, it's not really. She's just performing at an event very soon. <laughs> yeah. That is it, that is Genie in a Bottle by Christina Aquilibra. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Aquilibra. 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 <laughs> okay. Aguilera. Yep. We've got okay. that one, Miss so Aguilera. Point, point, point each. Point each. Point each. Point each. A point each. We're doing great, guys. There's only another fifteen minutes of this to go. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've got the jacket on that goes with it. Yeah, you can do MC this. Hammer, you can't touch this. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> what I'm absolutely loving is the intensely <laughs> face when he's pressing the buzzer. <laughs> it's going... Destroy you. <laughs> Say that to all the boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even holding my buzzer. That's how confident I am. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thrash. 
Well, we'll have to see who wins this one because this one is very... I think I know this song. I might get it hopelessly wrong, but <laughs> whatever. It's, it's all about detective work into this game, guys. Yeah. Ready? Do, 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 do. Yes! Barbie Girl by Aqua. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. We've, In yeah. your face. Yeah, just because it's the gayest song that's had, happened so far. I think I know the tune for this one. <laughs> yes. That's what gets results. Not the, the one, no, it's not. The way you do it. it is. No, it's not. Go. Yes. It's Macarena by Los Lobos or whatever they were called. Um, they're called Los Del Rio, Los as in Bianca yeah, Del. Yeah, yeah. Um, two of them, yeah. two disturbing <laughs> middle-aged gentlemen. And it's, that's a lot like RuPaul. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Were, were they middle-aged gentlemen? Yeah. They yeah. weren't. Yeah. Seriously. So that just suits doing this. Yeah. I know that's weird. No, that's weird. I don't know why I thought it was like teenage girls, like last catch up or some shit. But... I think they're dead now, but it's okay. Oh dear. Okay. Um, okay, I've changed my decade because, to be honest with you, they, most of those songs were older than me and it's just, we were struggling a bit. Um, so, bear with me 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, 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 under my, under your what? Umbrella. By Rihanna. Fantastic. Did not recognise that. And did you know that when Umbrella was brought out by Rihanna, sales of umbrellas went up by 20%? And did you know that it was also one of the wettest, rec one of the wettest summers on record? It was indeed, yes. The summer of 2008 was a very wet one, I believe. And did you know, I don't give a shit? We're tying. You're not losing. It's a draw. It's past Lee's <laughs> bedtime. He's getting a bit hangry now. He's very angry he when he's tired. <laughs> very angry. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get this one, but I hope we get this one because it's, it's an anthem of our generation. Well, my generation. I don't know about you two old farts. Kelly Tubby's then. You're so funny. I forgot to laugh. <laughs> yes. Uh, that smash. That, that smash. smash. It's Gwen Stefani and Holla Back Girl. Yes. I, I thought did. he was singing a theme tune to Rocky. <laughs> I did to start with. <laughs> I did to start with, to be fair. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm like, Rocky, <laughs> da, da, Rocky, da, da. I don't know the words. <laughs> Are there any words to it? I was thought that, it was just a tune. Lee, that oh. was not the Rocky theme tune, that was the A team you were doing there. No, the A team is. Rocky theme tune is. Very, very different. Very different. I'm too tired for this. Very, very different. Quite different. Right, yeah. Okay, Beatus. Let's go. Beatus! This is not what I signed up for. Yes. Happy birthday. No, it's not. It's the wedding march. No, it's, no not. it's not. It's happy birthday, isn't it? It was happy birthday. I thought birthday. they were the same tune. <laughs> no, there's two songs. I can't remember which they are, but they are the same tune. It's like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star and Happy Birthday. They're the same. Twinkle, 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 twinkle is Twinkle, Twinkle, do, do, Little do, Star. Do, 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 it sounds nothing do, do, like Happy do, do, Birthday do. to you. Because Happy Birthday is the most depressing tune in the it planet. It's quite bleak, isn't happy it? Happy Birthday to... It's Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, How I Wonder What You Are. It's a little bit... <laughs> Just hum <laughs> though, go in, right? Yeah. yeah. Has anyone ever realised what you're supposed to do when someone's saying Happy Birthday to you? Like, you just stand just there and really look awkward. awkwardly. Because it's, it's like, what, what am I supposed to do? These people are standing there holding a cake, and I'm supposed to sit there like... <laughs> no, you just go, no, you just go, shh, presents. Enough. <laughs> Ooh, vocal fry. <laughs> My voice is breaking, I do apologise. Um, did anyone get that? No. From that. There's a key change. There's like a massive key change in it. She's dead. Yes. Your career. There wasn't one to start with. This was meant to be a stepping stone and now look. 
Yeah. Is it somewhat by Whitney Houston? Yes, it is by Whitney Houston. Is it I Will Always Love You? No, it's not. Is it any of the others? It's the other one, sang? the other song, her big one. The, the other... I want to dance with somebody. Well, wow. Wow. <laughs> Look, my voice wow. is, my, my voice you know is how, going. It's been a long day. You know how some people, some people not very far away from me, always have a go at me? Hmm? Regretting it now, aren't you? No, because it's quite clear when I do it what they are. It's not just a just random blurts through a... Random blurts through a kazoo. Mm. Right, well... That's why we had to sanitise it, though, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Come on, then. Right, some more OK, out. come on. I am Tiger. By Survivor. It's I Have the Tiger by I Have the Tiger 1982, apparently. By Survivor. No, no, it's by I Have the Tiger. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, Survivor. Um, what else? So we're currently tying. Oh, I know this one. Oh, that's, you might that's actually good. get this one as well, guys. It's from your, like, 80s. Well, I was born in the 80s. I don't remember anything. Well, Lee will definitely get it because he was in high school when this came out. This is one of my karaoke songs. Yes, it is. I know. Yes. I, I know white, it! I press the button, it's White Wedding. <laughs> no, it's not no, White it's not. Wedding. Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> It is Love Shack is a little <laughs> old place where That's the one. Can, can get together. Love Shack. Like white wedding. It's like white wedding. <laughs> okay. Let's... Come on, then. <laughs> okay, we got this one. Ready. So this, I will accept both versions of artists that have done this because I only actually know one of them. The other one, I'm literally just hoping for the best. When did history um, lesson babes just play it? Okay. <laughs> Not that he's competitive, but he's, you know, he's got I'm one point. I'm trying to remember how it starts off. All right, so give me a minute. <laughs> yes. I Love Rock and Roll by Britney Spears. That is correct. Yes, it is indeed. I Love Rock and Roll by Britney Spears. We're now tying. We are oh. tying. So we're going to do a tiebreaker. I think that's all the time we've got for this week. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't have Lee winner. Definitive win or lose. <laughs> Should we do a tiebreaker, guys? Yes. It doesn't okay. even matter if it makes the show. No, it, it, <laughs> it makes <laughs> me feel better. <laughs> okay, here is your tiebreaker. <sighs> Rick Astley, never going to give you up. It is indeed. Yes! I put down my buzzer. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I let you win. Doesn't matter, I win. And win. Oh, oh, what's coming down from the... Let's go with a winner. But what's coming down for you? Ah. <laughs> 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 Oh, are we, are we happy? Oh, yeah, we're fine. That's good. Let's, let's yeah, move on now. Yeah, we move on <laughs> okay. with our lives and our oh, career. Apparently we've got time for one more. No, we haven't! <laughs> that was the end. So while, while um, Lee calms down, keep the clothes on, Lee. Keep the clothes on. It's time to get ready for Craft on Sticks, which is Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time we hot foot it over to the hot bed of, well, shite, it's Crafty Queens. Hot bed of shite, eh, hey Mike? Well, yes. let's see what her, say how we refer to this gorgeous concoction. So you've got, a, you've got an accoutrement to an arrange of sponges and ribbons and other tat. I'm going to turn that into some little friends for you to take home. How keep exciting. You, keep, you, keep you company on those long dark nights. So we're going to start with the, small, with the smallest one first, which is um, the, so the little sponge. Okay, little the sponge. Little sponge. Ooh, look at the sponge. So what, you, you should have a, a couple of rubber bands. I do have some rubber bands. Get one of your rubber bands. Uh -huh. Put that over the top of your sponge and you kind of want it kind of halfway sort of not halfway three quarters three quarters yeah and you want to double that over 
couple of times if you can okay okay so you've kind of kind of created a little shape how, how, how often do i do that just you know if, if you can get do it more than twice that's great if you if you can't then that's fine just as long as it defines the shape Okay, so I've got this uh, sort of like an hourglass shape. Yes, okay. So now what you're going to do is, um, you're going to get two pieces, you know, you've, you've got this little stretchy silver boing, boing, boing. Yeah. yeah? You're going to tie that, so in one of the corners of the smaller segment at the top, Okay. tie, the, tie that round and tie it as tight as you can. So you're creating that shape. Okay. You see? See? Yeah, I'll see. Tight as you can. Okay. Might need to tie it round a couple of times. Okay. So once you've done it at that side, mm -hmm. do it at the other side. Now I have scissors. You don't. No, I'm not allowed scissors because of rage levels. Yeah. Those plastic ones. Okay. So one side and then other. Okay. Have you any idea what this could be, Mike? A waste of my life. I know. But what about you know, apart yeah, obviously it is a waste of your life. But what about what it might be? Shit tied around a sponge. So you've cut you start there's a little character there's a little character come in emerging. Mm -hmm. eem, 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 eem. So have you done both? Have you done both? I've done both. You've done, right, okay, so you want to repeat that at the bottom. So, same thing. You know when you say you want to? Mm -hmm. Isn't they're the right words? <laughs> you will be. Yeah. You can make these a little bit bigger. Should you choose? Okay. you done both your little... I've done the other bits, yeah. Okay, so it's going to be a teddy bear. A lovely scratchy teddy bear. A lovely scratchy... Nothing says warm and cosy <laughs> like a Brillo pad. It doesn't, does it? So where you've got your, where you've got your, your, your rubber band around its yeah. neck, we want to put a nice little bit of ribbon. Okay. Around its neck. To give it a nice... Ri nice. To hide the fact I've used a rubber band. Yeah. Okay. Could I not just use the ribbon? The ribbon, you, I mean, you could have done, but this just gives it, the the rubber band is quite strong. So okay. it gives it, um... Well, the answer is yes, but you want to add an extra step into oh, it the whole time. God. Wine, wine, wine. I wish there was wine. Make this bearable. Doing this is like an insight what it would be like be married to you. Hell. No, I think you'll find that married to me wouldn't be doing this sort of shite. Tie it in a little bow. I can't do bows. Well, like how you would tie your shoelace. Have we, have we got that? Are we, are we there? We're not there, no. We'll wait for the, for the special child in the group to... Oh, catch up. There we go. Okay. Now then, you've got two little wobbly eyes. Uh huh. A little bit of glue on the back of the, each wobbly eye. Okay. And then stick it on where the head would be. Ooh. Where the head would be. Right. Okay. Now, it's up to you what you'd like to put in the middle. You've right. got a choice of, 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 of stars. Or a little rainbow. I'm going to go for a star. Okay. Little bit of glue on the back. In the middle of the tummy of the teddy bear. I said it's going to be a teddy bear. The kind. Um, and then the last thing you need to do is give it a little nose and a little teddy bear face. So using your marker. Draw on a little... That 
That is so cute. That is so cute. Okay. For some reason, man's sad. Oh. But you know what? We're going to make it happy because what does every baby bear need? A sugar daddy. A, yeah, a daddy bear. So we're going to make it a daddy bear. So I want a daddy bear. Well, you're going to have a daddy bear. So yeah. You mean made from one that sponge, don't you? Yeah. So take your big sponge. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna repeat the same process, but on a larger scale. You ever a crafty child, Mike? You ask me this every time. I do, but I, do, I always want to just find out if you're lying. So I have a slight issue. Mm -hmm. Um, mine looks more like a bow tie right now. Okay, well let's have a look. Hold it up for me. Get it around there. Oh, right, got it. Come on. Yeah, have you Okay. There's your daddy bear. Yeah. And then there's baby bear. Oh. And that, children, is tonight's nightmare. Now, remember, as we say every week, if you can't get any peen or even any vagine, be a crafty queen. See you next time. say is the top or the bottom in this relationship? Top. Definitely. What the hell? What? What if, what if... I followed your instructions. What is that? That's a teddy bear. That's a teddy bear. <laughs> that's, that's... <laughs> well, I followed your instructions as you gave them. It's fine, Mike. It's fine. Mine seems to have a vagina. <laughs> oh, look! I've got camel toe. A little teeny tiny vagina. I have an unnatural smooth area. Oh. That's why it looks so sad. Well, his eyes are huge. I know. But you know, I was just nice. Look at, look at that. What's going on there? I was going to say, these have an excuse. These are <laughs> bits of sponge which I wrap around them. That is all you. Well, that's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember, you can join us on our social media. Well, that's, well, that's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at the TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry. But we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Daddy. No. Daddy. No, not a daddy. Sponge. <laughs> <laughs>